very busy doing important things. The mirror of prophecy. Oh my goodness, girls! I'm so nervous. Wait! Don't start without me! Okay, here we go. Oh, magical mirror, can you please tell us where we could find the keys to the magic portal? Concealed in a case made not by humans and surrounded by its elements. Only to the bearer of matching power, it will reveal itself. In a case? But where are we supposed to find that case? Sparkling pillar from out of nowhere, that flies away we do not know where. With bare hands you cannot hold it, but it's afraid of solid ice. So we got ourselves another puzzle. I thought the mirror would simply tell us where to find the keys. I think we should drop by the antique store. The brothers have all kinds of stuff there. Hey, hey, hey! The annual party at the Magical College. A costume competition and a lot of dancing. Oh, and prepare a cool dance routine. <laughs> a party for the wizarding folk? That is so awesome! Hey, can I come with you? Pretty, pretty, please. Sure, you can come. Oh, we're gonna need to choose a costume. Girls, remember our first homecoming after graduation? We had an oven race that time. It was so much fun, and Mary fell down from her oven. <laughs> and remember how we all agreed to come to the reunion in the costumes of forest fairies, and Mary dressed up as a tree? It was a dryad costume. And what about our secret greeting? Remember, girls? The one we made up ourselves? Jump, turn, clap. That's right, and Mary would always fall down while turning. Ha ha ha, very funny. Oh, come on, Mary. It was so much fun. You know what, girls? You can go if you want, but there's no way I'm going to this party. Hey, do you maybe have something that would suit me? Like a phoenix or something? <laughs> Mary, where are you going? To the store. I'm gonna look for the case, since the girls are gonna spend hours dressing up anyway. Get out! Come on in! <laughs> and where are your friends, eh? Saving the town as always? No, actually, they're getting ready for the homecoming party, and I... Came to get a dress? I have one that'll look great on you! Here! Uh, thank you, but that's not why I came. Come on, just look at it! You'll be the dancing queen! I wanted to ask you about a case. A case? Sure, we have lots of those! <laughs> I'll go get them now. Meanwhile, you can try on the dress! It's for free! And Mary dressed up as a log. <sighs> okay, I'll just try it on. The phoenix costume! And what about the hat? Or at least some kind of feather? Helena, there's no hat. That's all right. My grandma has this feathery thingy. It's gonna fit perfectly. I'm gonna go home and get it. Be back in a jiffy, girls! Oh, Mary, that was quick. Helena, I learned everything about your parents. Come with me. What about the girls? Let's go, we don't have time to waste. Hey, Tweedledum, do you remember that today at the Fountain in the Park there's a homecoming party of the Magical College alumni? I do. <laughs> we should go there. Crack, 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 crack. <sighs> Mars is closing in on the fourth planet. All right, it's looking good. What is looking good? Here, see? Mystic ruins. All we need to do now is decipher them. Helena, I need your bracelet. Help us read the prophecy that talks about your parents. Really? Then here you go, then. Wonderful. And now I need you to get me that book from the third shelf. Which book? This one? Such a 
pretty little thing. That's strange. Where did it come from? You are gonna be our audience. Don't turn it off again. One, two, three, let's go! Come on, Froggy, what are you doing? I am Mary. I was transformed into a frog. Please change me back? Mary? Mary, is that you? Frog. Change her back? But how? Snowy, you've never read any fairy tales? To change a frog back, it has to be kissed by a prince. Only where can we get one? Hey, girls, I'm ready! How do you like my costume? Just perfect. There's our prince on a white horse. I don't know. One piece of cheese is not a lot. How can you say that? This is Mary, our friend. All right, all right, I'll do it. What if it's not really Mary, but just a disgusting toad? Hooray! It worked! Mary? What happened? There! I tried on a frog's dress for a minute, only it turned out to be a trap! Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Girls, Helena's in danger! Mary! Help me! Come on, you gotta get me out of here! <laughs> Silly little girl, still haven't realized who I am? I have the key now, and you'll become nothing but a pale spark. Right on time! We won't let you get away with it, Phantom! And we're not afraid of you! Because we are Fantasy Patrol! <laughs> what can you do to me, Fantasy Patrol? Not the end. Sometimes it happens that you get knocked down and hurt. You're out of luck, things fall apart, and nothing seems to work. As if the world became an empty, hostile place. And you are knocking on the door when it's a hopeless case. Away, we don't know where. <gasps> Snowy, is this thing you're doing? No, it wasn't me. <gasps> I think I figured it out. The sparkling pillar. That's a fountain. fountain. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
strange. Only the fountain's frozen. It's not strange at all. There's a city underwater. Something must have happened here. An underwater city? My goodness! I had no idea! I should go there, check it out. But I have absolutely no time. A tour group is coming from another country. How about we go there and check it out? I don't know about that, girls. Maybe it's better to talk to Cat. Oh, no, no. You shouldn't get worried, Miss Yagard. We'll deal with it ourselves. We are Fantasy Patrol. All right. Find the water spirit. He's in charge there. Tell him I sent you. And by the way, I think you should take my aquatic nephew with you. He might be small, but he is a dragon. This nephew is going to cause us a lot of trouble. Oh, but how are we going to breathe underwater? Oh, right. Here, take this. Put them on. What happened here? Oh, look! There! Who's that? Stop! In the name of underwater law, you're arrested! And who are you? Who am I? The water spirit! And we are Fantasy Patrol! We were sent here by Mrs. Yogurt. Ah! Hey! Take care of your dragon! <laughs> He's so funny. Drakey doesn't like him, though. So what now if Drakey doesn't like him? I think he's quite cute. So what happened here? A monster! It attacked the city, broke into our treasury and stole the precious Lunar Pearl! It froze everyone! It's a miracle! I got away! So how do we unfreeze everyone back? That's simple! With the Lunar Pearl! But it's in the hands of this monster! Monsters are right up our alley! Show us where that thing is. There it is, the monster. Whoa, it's so ginormous. So the lunar pearl is hidden somewhere on the ship? Yes, but how do we get in there? Oh, would you please keep your dragon in check? Hey, what's going on with you? Behave yourself. <laughs> Listen, girls, we need to distract the monster. What if we just politely ask him to return the pearl? Oh, Snowy, you are so naive. <gasps> She's right! Like it would just give up. Hey, I could hit it with fire! We are underwater. Forget fire! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, girls, look at that. Drakey made friends with the fish. <laughs> the fish? Oh, wait, Drakey, no, get back! <laughs> He'll get eaten! Hey, you! Don't you dare touch our dragon friend! And give back the Lunar Pearl right now! Listen, girls, I think the fish is actually good. Right, that's what you call good? There's a cave! We should lure it in there! So what do you think about playing tag? Come on, girls, wait a second. We should try talking to it. I don't think the fish is evil. Snowy, you are way too trusting. Hey, girls, where's the water spirit? He's probably looking for the Lunar Pearl. Let's go there, too. Drakey, try to keep up. I'm sorry, Fishy. Once we figure this all out, we'll set you free right away. Come on, Drakey. <laughs> we took care of it. The monster is captured. Let's go! I mean, let's swim and unfreeze the city! You 
did great, but the thing is, the Lunar Pearl is still out of my reach. Let me try something. Oh, Tommy girls, get me out of here! Helena, no! no. Uh, 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 I really wish I had my winter coat right now. I'm gonna try and get the pearl. I think I can make it. Oh, right, go ahead. Because we don't have enough problems with one ice statue. Snow maidens don't care about cold. Snowy! Don't you dare do that! Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Snow Maiden. It looks like there's someone in here. Oh, another water spirit. And you. Ah! Snowy! Snowy! Uh, ha, 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 ha. Let's do it! Let's take this toad down! Poor girls. And it's all because of me. Take this! Mary! No! Yes, maybe I am too trusting. And yes, maybe I am too naive. Take this, toad! <laughs> and this is the end of Fantasy Patrol. I have both keys now. I might be too trusting. I might be too naive. But I really, really love you girls. And I will never let anyone do any harm to you. <sighs> so the Snow Maiden set herself free. But that's not for long. <laughs> Draggy, the staff! Enough! It's time to finish this! Ah! Oh! Ah! You are bad! Ah! You lied to everyone! Ah! You've turned my friends into ice! You've hurt the fish! Ah! Huh? Drakey didn't like you from the start. Strange, what just happened? I stretch up my arm and it all got frozen. Fraser, my good friend! You did great, girls. We got the key of water. <laughs> oh, my nephew's just something else. And I think he's really sweet. Mrs. Yogurt, do you mind if Drakey stays with us for a little while? With us? Looks like force didn't work. So I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> All right, it was somewhere here. Drop of living in the darkness of night. A spark of consciousness in the toy light. Oh! And it worked. Let's see. Come over here.
now, girls. Go righty, go righty. No, 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 no. A little bit lefty now. A little bit lefty. I'm so ready for the pirate party. <laughs> Fluffy, today we're having a simple slumber party. A slumber party? <laughs> Get this dragon away from me! Quit it, drinking! Wiggy, go to your place. Listen up, girls. I've just talked to my grandma, and I'm staying with you tonight. All right, Drakey. I'm so excited to see you two. Also, I have a surprise. Uh, we're Snowy. Hello, Helena. Snowy went to get the cake. Oh, whatever. Too long to wait anyway. I've learned to do something really cool. Ta-da! Meow! Check it out! This is what I've managed to conjure today. <laughs> Helena, come on! This is a fireling! It's dangerous! This is not a fireling! This is a fire cat! And from now on, it's my pet. And there's nothing dangerous about it, but it's very, very cool. <laughs> Drakey, stop it now! Stop! Yeah, Helena, you're right. Very cool. Mmm, creme brulee, my favorite. I'm sure the girls will love it. Wow, musicians. <laughs> Hello, Snow Maiden. Tweedledee? Me? <laughs> you got it wrong. Neither Tweedledee nor Tweedledum. Don't do anything rash, Snow Maiden. I have a surprise for you. Bunny? Alive? Yes, I brought him to life. And unless you bring the magical keys to the abandoned toy factory, you will never see your bunny. <laughs> I am the queen of pillow fighting. <laughs> Take this! Using magic is against the rules. Well, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Yeah. Ow! You're behaving like kids. Ow! I'm not gonna let this slide. Ugh. Ow! Ow! Take this! Why are you sitting there? Come join us. Oh. Hey, go away! Valerie, do something about this big eater. He's got his paws on the cake. Oh, the cake. Drakey, go to your place. Helena, shall we go set off some fireworks? Any cake? Pretty. Okay, do it, Helena. It's a good time to see you launch those magical sparks. Okay. One sec. Oh, I forgot to sample to my purse. <gasps> my poor bunny. Oh, I love you so much. But if I give the keys to the phantom, Helena will never be able to go to the fairy tale world and find her parents. No, I cannot do it. Bunny, I will save you myself. Snowy, are you serious? You really wanted to go fight the Phantom on your own? And you thought we'd let you go alone? Oh, girls, I'm so sorry, but he's got my bunny. Wait, what bunny? Snowy's bunny. Cheer up. We'll get him back. Do you roger me, girls? I'm at the place. How's the picture? Snowy, the picture's good. You can go in, but be careful. Can't see anyone so far. <gasps> Bunny! So, Snow Maiden. <laughs> As you see, I kept my word. But do you have the keys? Yes, I do. Here! 
Put them in here. Snowy, try to find out where the Phantom's hiding. He must be somewhere close. Where is he? Where is he? Aww, we're gonna lose our keys! It looks like there's some movement on the right side. Snowy, turn around. That way. Let's teleport there. Valerie, grab it! Helena, catch! Take this, Phantom! No one's here. So where's the Phantom? She obviously got scared and ran away. That's strange. I didn't expect it to go this easy. My bunny. Tricky, what are you doing? This is my bunny. Tricky, hush. Go to your place. Come on, Tricky. Don't be jealous. I love you just as much. It's so strange. The bunny's alive now. Where have you been all this time? Quite a traveler. Thank you so much, girls. You don't know how happy this makes me. Okay, missies, let's start tea partying already, because uh, I'm getting very sleepy weepy. <laughs> Bring them to me. Bring me the bracelets. everyone just sleep at night. First, they bring home pets, and now I'm the one who has to look after this bunch of weird creatures. <laughs> Finally! The keys are mine! <laughs> Get away from me, you flying piece of lizard! Drakey, I guess I should start working on making you a real fighter dragon. <laughs> Bunny, what's wrong with you? It looks like your bunny has been bewitched. <laughs> Okay, all right. The siren's magical ribbon, capable of taking the free will from any creature. Mm. Powerful thing. Ah! And now it's gone. This powerful thing. <laughs> uh. Come on. Our home has become some sort of magical zoo. <laughs> <laughs> 